Hey everybody, welcome back to the Overwatch channel on YouTube, also at overwatchproject.com. I want to make a quick video about um, some strangeness. Do you ever feel like weird synchronicities are happening to you, especially if you're involved in uh, this type of philosophy where you're trying to explain reality and you stumble across the whole idea that it's this is a, all one big giant bad reality, a prison a reincarnation trap. Anyway, first of all, let me just tell you about a little story, okay? So recently, um, this is a video I made a while ago. It's a five minute, it's just under five minutes. It just talks about the uh, my my take on uh, meditation, uh, vo vo uh, vocal guided meditation, that it should be always phrased in a positive tense. And the importance of um, all suggestions be made po in a positive tense rather than containing any negatives. It's just a quick video. So I get this uh, obscure, weird, vague um, message under this video that's my video. Hey man, could you take down my video from your channel, please? I, I didn't know what this meant. Uh, you know, obviously it's really vague. It's from this. Uh, YouTube channel called Meta Rising, a, a YouTube channel that I subscribe to, and then later on I get this weird message from them. So of course I wrote them back, uh, what video? So um, he says, um, I said, I so I wrote back what video, and he didn't answer. I wrote back uh, what video are you referring to? This video you are commenting on is my video, and then he wrote back, reality and the extended mind. Cheers. And the video he's talking about is uh, this one that I had on my channel. I posted it on September 12, 2015. And it's a short documentary about consciousness. And um, it was weird because the person uh, sending me the message puts it under this video. He doesn't comment under the actual video he has a problem with. Uh, I don't understand. So then I wrote back, the video Reality and the Extended Mind by Adrian D. Nelson is in the Creative Commons and is licensed under the Creative Commons usage. Here is the link. So I provide him with the link and I also provide him with the Creative Commons license agreement. So I didn't get anything back for a while. Um, for, and then um, today, under my most recent video, I just get this, please take down my video from your channel, Reality and Extended Mind. Well, that's weird. So I said, um, I replied, as I explained before, that video is in the Creative Commons and licensed under the Creative Commons 3.0 license. Here is the source. I referred him to the link in the archive.org where you can see the video and its license status. And um, then I wrote back, um, let me see, I wrote back to him. As per that license, videos can be shared, copy freely, but not for profit. It appears you have monetized your videos and you should demonetize your videos. And you are posting from the Creative Commons. Um, do you understand that this video you keep texting me about is in the Creative Commons? And I linked it to him again. He says, I'm asking you to take it off your channel because I made this film. I traveled to interview the scientists and I edited the whole thing over two years to over two years. By law, you can keep my film on your channel, but I'm asking you to take it down. Now, I, I would honor his request, but um, I don't know if it's really the guy. I asked him back, are you Adrian D. Nelson? Are you pulling the film off of um, the archive.org and changing its copyright status? as listed there. I don't understand if you are Adrian D. Nelson and don't want the documentary to appear elsewhere, why I license it as a Creative Commons work? Please explain. Um, I even offered, would it help if I credit your channel as a promotion to you? He replied, uh, I, I also wrote, I will consider your request, but I'd like to know a little more info first. Thanks. Uh, so he says, yes, I am Adrian. No, I don't need a promotion. i just like you to take it down. Now, the weird thing is, his communication skills leave little to be desired. 
um, in his first exchange with me, I mean, it's clear if you're listening to my channel that I must be from the America area, you know, I must be from either the United States, perhaps certain parts of Canada, but most likely you can tell I'm an American. Um, the way he wrote this reality and the extent of mine dot uh, period and cheers, uh, an American could, t American will not take that normally as I assume he's from the UK or something, but we don't say that. Uh, that way, it comes across as being kind of pompous or kind of uh, snobbish to an American. If you want to say thanks, you can just say thanks. But um, anyway, that's near here to there. So I wrote back that um, I may put the video on private, but I must say it's I find it hard to believe you are the same person that made the video in question. First of all, your communication to me was made. What to me was very poor. It started off with a vague request to take down a video in a comment section of another unrelated video. You never specified anything, and I basically had to question you like a detective to get info out of you. How do I know you are really who you say you are? Why do you have a problem with me posting that video? Do you have an issue with my theories about reality? Do you disagree with me on some philosophical point? Are you going to request everyone who has posted that video to take it down, or just me? Also, are you from the UK or someplace that uses the term cheers in place of tank thanks for future reference saying cheers like you did and your earlier comment comes across the wrong way in the context you used it, it seems sarcastic. So anyway, I don't know what to make of this. So I'll link to everything below and I look forward to my subscribers giving me some feedback. So I don't know whether or not I should blank out that video or not. Um, on a different subject, for anybody who's uh, never heard of Tom Campbell, he's a physicist and an author. He wrote My Big Toe, a.k.a. My Big Theory of Everything. I read that whole book. It's fascinating. But I have to tell you, for somebody who's worked with Robert Monroe, I just listened to a new interview with him. I don't understand these people. They are hardwired to process reality in a positive, benevolent way, no matter what they find in the research. This is an interesting new interview on Tom Campbell's channel. I'm going to link to it below. For anybody interested, you can watch it. It's two hours long, and there's another part two that's another two hours long, so it's four hours, but I'm into like 46 minutes of it right now. But in the first 46 minutes, Tom admits that there are there you know he is trying to make his model of reality fit all the data like I do he admits that the data he's looking at he still has questions or things some things just don't fit and you know this is a guy who's worked directly with Robert Monroe he must know about the Lush story he has to know about all this stuff he comes up with the wackiest explanation for consciousness at the end when he starts talking about uh, different points of consciousness interacting with everything else uh, sort of like for evolutionary purposes or some it, it, it's it, he, again you go into the it's all good it's all it's sort of all for the good all this pain suffering all this how do you look at all the individual accounts from the near-death experiences out-of-body experiences alien abduction ancient history um, uh, the um, stories from the Sumerians and from other cultures around the world, uh, their creation myths, and uh, put together a collection of information about humanity and why we're here. And then on top of that, have access to Robert Monroe and everything he experienced this and Tom Campbell's own personal experiences and still look at the entire universe as this weird benevolent interacting entity of oneness that is just experiencing itself from different points of view this collective nonsense drives me batty because in our world and if you go by an as above so below type of modeling everything here that resorts to a collective mindset degenerates into tyranny chaos conflict despair, poverty, um, collectivism, I don't think works anywhere. I think we're all 
individuals for a reason and there's a nefarious evil force that has trapped individual conscious points individual beings of consciousness into this prison reality simulation and uh, is feeding off of us and continuously bombards us with this collectivist nonsense that does not work because we are individuals Sure, we may exist in a network of consciousness. Just like my individual computer here is networked into the internet and to every other computer that I want to connect it to. It can appear as oneness, but I'm telling you, if you look and listen carefully to the evidence people describe in their direct witness accounts of near-death experiences and out-of-body experiences and alien abduction phenomena and everything else that we know about consciousness we are not one with everything we are connected to everything and we are deprived of that connection not only uh, physically by being in our bodies here in human form but we're also deprived of knowledge via amnesia this is all nefarious evil shit that's been done to us but Tom Campbell still has good information to give out there if you can stand to listen to his nonsense explanation for reality. Um, just an interesting thought. I thought I'd share with you today and uh, let me know what you think. It's all meta strangeness rising. Weird shit. Take care. Bye.